It's late March, coming up the end of the snapper season. Shane and myself have emptied out our bait freezers, loaded up the Senator, and we're going to crank out a behemoth end of season burly trail and try and catch some ocean going giant snapper and maybe a sly John Dory. heaps of current. Me and Shane have just launched out of Nelson. Mission today is to, well we're drawing end of summer anyway, end of this um, Tasman Bay snapper season, which is generally, we're, we're near the end of March now. April sort of the last month for snapper and we're on one of our last missions uh, out into Tasman Bay to try and catch a giant snapper. We're at an all new posse. We've been trying to mix it up this year instead of the same old horns, trying complete new spots and that's what we're doing today we've also cleaned out our bait freezers both of ours and we've got so much chum burly bait uh and shanos has just deployed three four kilo i think there's a five kilo burly bomb and two 3.5 are they 3.5s yeah yeah probably gonna blow my cage apart shanos <laughs> If I don't, Holy shit, dude. If I don't, the sharks are gonna come for that wall. That's impressive, man. Well, he's gonna be interesting how to do that one, Shane Oss. Yeah, we're trying a few new tactics anyway. And we're gonna see how that goes. But mission snapper on. Oh yeah, sweet. We cube a lot for the snapper, so what I've actually done is I got some three bags of pillies, cubed it all up frozen, chucked it in a bucket, filled it with fresh water, and so that's all cubed. So the plan is that that'll defrost and slowly cube out the back. Well, that's the method to the madness. Whether it actually does is a whole different uh, story. Right, burley's deployed, get some baits going, chum up mussels and a quarter ton of bait and burley. <laughs> The fresh water's defrosted already pretty much on the chum. That's quick, eh? Maybe it needs to be salt, dude. But still not, a, it's a good idea. At the moment, it's just going to help the mirror, and I guess it'll be quite hard to go through the cave. Okay, okay. Lazy snapper. Hey, this is good. Sweet, pal. Just huh? keep a couple for the olds if you don't want to keep a couple. Yeah. Keep them. Okay. Oh, that was a little um, panning. So, first fish is a snapper. It's good, gun. Just gone quarter past eight. Oh, they 
Come off those hooks. Put on this back. <laughs> uh, went a bit quiet actually. We chummed probably 10 kilo of mussels. We broke them up and chucked them out. Shane's got a 30 kilo thing of pallets. And we've got so much chum and old bait and all sorts. The Burley Trail, sorry. Uh, that would probably get a Guinness Book of Records uh, trophy, wouldn't you say, Shanos? It would be worthy of an entrance anyway. We've slowed down chumming now anyway, we're just having a bit of a breather. And yeah, a few runs here and there, but not much going on. I think they're just little, uh, little panties chewing up our baits, doing a bit of a run and dropping them. But hopefully something, ooh. Something there, he's just not quite committed, is he? Oh, he's back. Yeah, but old Defiance, a bit of a mess at the moment. Look about buckets and bins and ice cream containers and bags of bait and crap all over the show. We're gonna fish till 10 o'clock and then we're gonna have a go for a squid, actually. We're gonna have a bit of a squid fish. That probably won't last long, but we'll have a go anyway. That's if we get time. Shanos has got a wedding this afternoon, so we need to be back out nice and early. That guy. Huh? That guy that puts a time limit on fishing. <laughs> uh, that's all right, mate. That's all right. At least we got out here. Yeah. We're going to go home with no bait. We're going to get rid of it all. I don't think we will, though. I think we'd be biffing most of it in. Yeah, but she's pretty quiet. This could be, maybe this could be our fifth trip in the compilation of the four fails. Oh no, that one trip was all right, eh? Well, I went for a swim. No, 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 no. Yeah, that was a good trip. And you know when we came down to the, tried that other spot when it was rainy and overcast? Yeah. We got a good snapper then. Oh, that was a big run. But yeah, anyway, me and Shane Austin. A Kina Peru trip. That was New Year's Eve. Eh? New Year's Eve. I wonder if we should put that in now. Then, not long after that, we drove to Havelock and didn't even launch. It was so joint. Yeah. Yeah, that was rubbish. We got to Havelock. Took the piss out of ourselves and everything. The wind was so strong. It uh, well, our hats off. took the hats off our noggins. Ooh. I'm a little bit concerned how more committed you are for live baiting than you are for... Is that that net? dripping down yeah so and then we did another trip out into Tasman Bay and as soon as we got out the cut the oh shit swimming back at you yes oh that this is a uh... Shark do. Is it? I'd say so. Oh, maybe. Oh, no. That might be snapping on. Nah. Poop, maybe? Poop? Yeah. Oh, that's disappointing. Very. Good job. I don't think we can go wrong with some fresh poop. Shane, what's this in? Shane loves my wooden priest. So that's a solid chunk of wood and it's got a big chunk of metal right up the inside. Oh, come on. Too much admin with this fishing, with this type of fishing for filming, eh? Well, when you're trying to chum and change bait and... That was a good hit. Do you want your live in? You want this in? Oh, you got 
here. Little, maybe a little eight hand snap set. You need another rod out your side, Shane. I don't think four's quite enough, champ. Do you want to know something funny? Huh? The other one's about to go and my straight line's going to go. just trying to show off now. Is that what we're doing? We started doing that. That's not a fucking little snapper. Dude. There you go, pal. Clean area. Clean fish work zone. I think I'm on plus plus drag though. Oh, have you got girly drag on? Yeah. Is that what you... God's sake, Shane. You know, here I am thinking you were a serious fisherman, then you just go... Just changed the whole game on me. Could have looked like a big snap, especially the one swimming out on an angle now. Oh yeah, that's not great. That's really random. How far? I honestly couldn't tell you. Oh. I'll lead it. Got colour. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, it's a shark. Uh oh. Is it? No. a rig. Might be a rig, is it? Hey. What was that, a rig? Yeah. We've got deployed now a oh, uh, live bait here, uh, flasher here, flasher here, stray line, stray line, flasher, slow jig on the other side. Shane is back in, probably with a little snapper. Just gone about 20 past nine. I don't know if you can see or hear, you can probably hear it, that's the Coast Guard behind us. Not sure what they're doing actually. They're scooting in close to shore. Looks like they might be searching for something or someone or... Don't know. Looks like Shane, I reckon there's a police on board. But at least they didn't scare our three hours of chumming and scare the snapper away, Shane. Us. Well, our mega chum trail is... At the moment, not working too good. I don't know if it's because of that motor droning away in the background. Or what, but yeah, she's gone pretty quiet. All we've got today is a, a rig, a cooter, a couple of tiny, tiny, tiny juvenile snapper. One that Shanos had was so bloated. He is just snacking away on the chum. But yeah, we'll pop around here for a, what time are we leaving? 10 or 10.30? 10. 10. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll cut a track about, probably we'll leave, um, cut a track at 10.30, and, uh, whoa, oh, that's my fresh rig, Shane, is it? Yeah. We decided we'd put fresh snapper snatches on. For about, what do you reckon, Marco? Oh, half an hour? Oh, it'll be long. Yeah. Maybe Nothing. even an hour. Yeah. Um, had a wee shark, and then Mark's other rod's gone off, and we might be onto a snapper worthy of a photo. Maybe not spectacular, but we've had a few midget ones, so this has really got us jacked up. I'm too scared to call it after all our shark and, <laughs> and barracuda calls and stuff. It ain't, it's definitely not, it's definitely not a cooter. Oh, it's snapper. Yeah, fish, it might be a good one. You've just got to dive around everything. Oh, yeah. It's a, 
Not the sniffle. Look at that chain off. Oh. oh, good shit. Nice one, pal. That made it worth it. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good snapper. He's probably. Oh, look at the chum. And the pellets. And the pellets. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get a shot of that. Oh, that's classic. Oh, that's classic, dude. He is. Look at his belly, dude. Those little pellets. He's just vomited out. Leftover barracuda. Chunks of squid. Pellets, crab legs. And... <laughs> <laughs> his belly is so chocker. He's been right in the midst of the snack zone, eh? Yeah. <laughs> big boys feeding the big boys. The old snack zone getting it done. We've got time for another. Yeah. Oh, we definitely have to now, don't we? Yeah. That's. Oh, mate, he is. He is purging snacks galore. 15, 12, 15. Yeah. He is purging snacks, dude. Big time. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Oh, he's probably. Maybe, what do you reckon? 12. 12 pounds? He's probably about 12 pounds, that guy, anyway. But Shane Oss was uh, just a little bit concerned we are going to weren't bringing any fish home to his parents, but Marco, Marco saved pulled, the saved the day. So we got two for the bin. That was on the Black Magic Lumo Snapper Snatcher. Nice. Marcos, meet, meet me, bruh. Meet, oh, help. meet me, meet me. Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Thanos. That's a monkey off the back, pal. How good. Well, uh, Shane Oss's battle in fishing life is catching a John Dory, hence him wanting to catch a livey, me making a mockery of him, and he has just landed his first ever John Dory. Stoked Marco, thrilled in fact. <laughs> you want a picture with him, won't you? Do you want a picture with him? Yeah. Right, de-hook him and I'll get a pitch with him. He's not, nice. he's, not a, he's not a monster, but he's greedy, dude. That Mackie was quite big. Yeah. That was good going. Could you Happy my, days, dude. Could you grab my phone, bruh? Yeah. And just take a photo, you can just click. I can't believe you pulled it out of the bag. I don't even know if I've got the camera and me making a mockery of you in your little live bait. Shit. So he hit it, and that's what that run was, and then he just sat there hooked up. Not much fight to them, but shit, that was awesome. That just shows you with that um, snapper spewing up. He's eating crabs, squid, the pellets, and barracuda. But that's good, John. Showing us it'll be, that's made his day now. Yeah, I'm ecstatic, pal. All his mates send him picture of John Dory's and torment you, don't they? Yeah. Every day, all the time. Shane Oss is in. They just like a little pancake, aren't they? Yeah. There's a whole burly trail just that was in that snapper do on the deck <laughs> of pallets. Oh, those pallets are a nightmare. Are they? Yeah. Oh, they'll be stinky too, Bill. Yeah, oh, they're, um, um, Semi-defrosted too, um, not defrosted, what do you call it? Munch. Soft as, like munchy. Shit, they are good too. Little pellets. Oh, well, it, what turned out to be a bit of a slow start. Oh, actually, no, it was a good start. 
and then a slow middle at the ends, pretty good. We'll carry on anyway, we've got another hour left, so we'll plug away. Chain's got something decent on the Sabiki. Something real decent. Snapper, isn't it? I don't know, dude. Could be. <laughs> Or maybe a treve? It's got that real tap tapity tap tap. Oh yeah. Is that possible? Yeah, definitely. I thought it might have pulled out. Because it's so sort of tugged really hard. There's solid hooks on there though. Real solid. Like for a sabiki, they're pretty good dude. Well, we've got a small amount of real estate back here. Got some long neck. Lines aren't doing too well everywhere else, are they? No, no. We're about to go. Got stuff messed up. Oh, we got colour. And it does look like a treve, is it? Yep. Oh yeah, good tree it's tail hooked. <clears throat> oh this is gonna go pear shaped with Sabiki in the net. We're just committing now, are we channels? You mate. Say when. Yep. I'll keep the weight on. That's all good. <laughs> cool. I think you might have come on. Oh, nice. Dale hooked. Um, I'll right. just sit that down and we'll deal with these lines. Yeah, we're. That was a good trevally, but we're the wind's pushing us around now, so we're probably going to be done. Right, we're just uh, making our way home now. It's just gone 10 20. Shane is having a clean up on the uh, continue trip, continue trip, having a clean up of the deck, and we're just making our way home. That's a pretty, pretty cool little session and a new little spot we've been trying. Uh, we ended up with one good snapper. It was a nice Trevally on the Sabiki, and Shanos is wrapped with his John Dory. But oh, yeah. yeah, yep, cool little mission, and uh, making our way back to Port Nelson now. Clean up and chill out for the rest of the weekend. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you on the next episode.